Can you guys see me okay? Actually, I need to go grab my mic, hang on. Okay, hopefully that's better. I don't know how much, maybe I'll move it a little closer so you guys can really hear me. I think that's good. Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. I know it's been a really long time. I kind of ghosted you guys during Vlogmas because I just was very overwhelmed with my situation and I didn't really feel like filming and haven't really felt like filming for quite some time. Also, sorry if my lighting is a little rough. I'm currently repairing one of my lights, so I only have one over this way and I usually have two to like balance it out, but we're gonna just work with it for now. So yeah, rewind to Vlogmas. I think I made like seven episodes of Vlogmas and I definitely should have pre-filmed. I kind of knew that from the get-go, but I just kind of thought like, oh yeah, I can just make a video every day, edit it quickly and it'll be fine. And I just quickly lost my passion and just, sorry, my phone just went off. It's my friend Amethyst. If you're Amethyst and you're watching this, hello. Actually, funny enough, today, I was going down this weird rabbit hole of thinking about college and thinking about my just like old times in college and my friendships and how I wish that I had a bigger friend group and just more people to do stuff with and then I realized that I went to college with like basically so I had like my roommates Amethyst my friend was one of them but then I lived mostly with Swedish girls like Ex foreign exchange girls and so I'll see all these people from my college hanging out with their big groups of friends and I just can't really relate because I'm like man I had a really big friend group I feel like in college but just not anymore because I lived with all people that ended up moving away which like now it kind of sucks but I still wouldn't change it so it's just kind of interesting when you reach like your 20s i don't know if any of you guys are in the same position as me but when you are kind of doing your own thing or you live by yourself um you just you end up being alone more often and i feel very much off of off of college when you're living with people meeting people all the time even when i worked in person just being around people 24 7 to then being very much on your own is a really weird feeling and something that I feel like I'm still getting used to. Even in my most recent years, I still was like living with a significant other. And so living fully on my own after living in college with other people and then in a house with somebody, it's just very weird to be like completely on my own in my living situation. Like it's not bad, but it's also not my favorite thing ever, but I feel like I also need it, which is good. Anyways, I kind of went down a tangent, but I've just been thinking about things like old things like that and just where my life has ended up and when I started my YouTube channel, what direction I want to take my YouTube channel in, if I want to continue doing vlogs or not, um, my passion for making videos and where that's at. And I know that I do want to keep doing YouTube, but I do feel this pull to maybe make it a little more niche than what it is right now. I know a lot of you guys that follow me either are people that came across my channel because I sent you support or I posted something like a hair video or a tech video that you liked, but then I feel like I'm not exactly fulfilling what you came here for unless you just like watching me as a person and my life journey, I don't know. Maybe if you do, then thank you because that is really cool and I not exactly sure why you would feel that way, but if you do, that's super nice of you and super cool. But I recently started doing macrame, honestly out of like nowhere. I just, I've always enjoyed things that were like woven or hanging, um, things just like crafting things. And I found a lot of inspiration from brands online. Like I remember even wanting to get my own macrame things or like tapestries and just thinking that they looked so cool and then realizing that I could just make them for so much cheaper than what they're sold for. So I kind of went down the YouTube rabbit hole and was like, 
I feel like I can make those things. So I started really small making like keychains and what else? Um, like bracelets and I don't know, just little things here and there. And now I feel like I've kind of gotten my colors picked out. I have a name, but I don't know if that's the name I'm gonna stick with. If you guys do wanna support me though, for right now, the name is at Copper Camel Co on Instagram. So I'm gonna be posting some things on there. There's already a few videos on there and images I think too, but I'm definitely gonna be doing more professional photos and actually trying to start that into a business. I've realized that I really am passionate about taking something that I enjoy and trying to turn it into something larger. And I don't know, I'm just really excited about it. That has really taken a lot of my attention, I think, away from just making random videos and spending hours and hours on editing videos that truthfully aren't viewed by a ton of people and didn't really feel the most fulfilling sometimes. I just felt like I would be up super late even during Vlogmas, and I was like, why am I doing this? Like, it's taking so long, and I'll post it and get, like, 10 views sometimes in a day, and I was like, man, I just kicked my butt to make sure I got that video up, and no one's watching. I know it's not all about views. I know a lot of it is for my own sake to just look back on, but it truly is a lot of effort when you feel like you're not necessarily getting any payoff out of it. So although I want to keep growing my channel, I want to feel more fulfilled in what I'm doing. And so I still want to make hair videos, I still want to make tech videos, and I will just post whatever I want to. But I do definitely want to incorporate more macrame and crafting videos into my channel because that's what I'm honestly spending a lot of my time on anyways. And I feel like if I'm going to be filming my life, that has become a big part of my life. So. If you guys are interested in that or any tutorials or you see anything on my Instagram page that you're interested in or whatever, I'm going to be making an Etsy shop or a Shopify shop really soon. I'm kind of going through like the business details and that's been crazy, like figuring out the difference between a sole proprietorship and an LLC and different documents you need and permits you need, like that stuff and taxes. It's just a lot to figure out before starting a business, which is something that I've learned. But anyways, um, yeah, I feel like I'm kind of just word vomiting random updates as they come to my head. I've also been dealing with mice in my apartment, which has been honestly the biggest, I think the biggest reason why I stopped posting on YouTube because I had a really hard time feeling festive and decorating and even feeling like my space is a home. I work remotely and that has been really difficult to do while having a bunch of mice in my apartment. I think I've caught six at this point or at least seen six in my apartment. And although like the situation feels like it's maybe mitigated now, I still don't feel like I can really cook meals and I have a hard time using like my silverware and my dishes knowing that there could be mouse poop or poison or just gross things on them and then consuming food like I have I've struggled honestly consuming food in my apartment just in general knowing that I've found droppings and things that have poop on them, like pillows and blankets that I've slept in, I've found mouse poop on. I haven't really been able to figure out how to get out of my lease, and I think I'm gonna have to stay here. My lease is up at the end of July, so hopefully I'm gonna find a better place. And I'm really grateful that I have the job that I have right now that can still provide me with the ability to, you know, still have an apartment. I'm grateful for that. But yeah, coming off of having COVID, if you guys saw my one of my recent videos, I had COVID at the beginning of October and I lost 10 pounds, I think, or over 10 pounds, a little bit over 10 pounds during that time period. And then after that, I had the mouse issue kind of start up again, which made it hard to eat. So I just felt and have felt like I just am not at the healthiest place to be expecting a ton for myself, like posting consistently on YouTube and 
you know, that kind of stuff when I can't even eat normally. I don't really have an eating routine. I feel like I can't work out some days because I'm eating so little. It's gotten better now because I've been able to buy like, I've bought um, single use silverware and gloves to handle things if I feel the need. My apartment's actually gonna come in and they're gonna do like a carpet cleaning, which is really helpful just to get like any remaining poop off of my carpets and who knows, like pee. It just, it's weird to be in a space that you were really excited for, especially after just the whirlwind of things that I went through in the last year and a half. And then to come into a place that you're expecting to be like really excited and comfortable and it just kind of killed it for me. And honestly, that's the last time I think I'm ever gonna sign a lease for 18 months because I learned quickly that if you don't like the place that you're in and then you have like over a year left of being there, then that is just, it takes a toll on your mental health and your physical health and just not something that I feel like I'd be willing to do again. However, let's get to the brighter side. There have been good things that have been happening in my life too. I am really excited to apartment tour. That's gonna be super cool. I just had Valentine's Day with my boyfriend, which was amazing. I, um, we went to this jazz club that was super cool and watched a comedian on stage. That was wonderful. I played in a soccer league this past uh what this past winter and that was a really honestly like the best way to get out of my apartment and just experience time with friends and doing stuff was really great for me and even just being out of my apartment has been great yeah i haven't even been able to cook a home cooked meal in so many months i can't even remember i've just been like drinking sparkling water because I don't want to use any of my cups for water and I also have been just eating like frozen meals and packing things in my refrigerator if I feel like they're contained enough and I'm able to eat them and I feel comfortable eating but yeah I don't really know what this video is <laughs> I just kind of felt like picking up my camera again and filming something because it's been two months and I realized that my channel is at like 407 subscribers and I was like, man, I, I like even thinking back on my first video on my channel, I was like, let me just take a chance and post something and, you know, maybe at some point I could do this as a career and maybe at some point, you know, I'll have like a comment on one of my videos and it's just interesting to see your life being documented like, I'm so grateful that I have those videos now. I actually even wish I had made more, but I really missed it. And I think also looking back on things, kind of wrapping around to the beginning of this video, wrapping back to just feeling nostalgic and missing people and thinking about the past and where I was at even in like 2020 during the pandemic. I just look at myself and I was like, man, that's cool that I just decided to pick up a camera, even though it was like a shady camera. And I just went for it. I was like, let's just make a YouTube channel. And it's already grown. And I just, I don't want to give up on something that I'm really excited about. It still sparks a little like fire in my stomach. And I want to be there for you guys and talk to you guys and give you updates on everything that's going on in my life. And I do feel like things are good. Like I'm, I have a job, I have an apartment, um, I have good family, I have a great significant other. I do have good friends. Like I just, I feel like I can sometimes get stuck in the negative parts of life easily. And I feel like I have to kind of kick myself out of those and try and really be present in the moment. Cause even looking back on things, I always get rose colored rose colored glasses but in the moment sometimes i know that i wasn't actually experiencing it truly i only feel like i experience it truly when i look back on it which to me isn't the healthiest or the best way that you can live like i want to feel like i'm experiencing everything in the present and not taking it for granted like i'm only going to be 27 for not much longer but it's still an entire year of my life and 
At some point, I'm, I bet I'm gonna be nostalgic for this apartment and this situation and this period of my life and these friends and these people that I have in my life. So, you know, it's easy to get focused on like the mouse issue, but I'm so grateful to where everything has led me at the same time. It's just life, man. Like you just don't know what's coming. I know that's just kind of a lot of word vomit, like I said earlier, but I just felt like hopping back on and saying hi to you guys and letting you know that I'm still here and I still see all of your comments. I honestly feel like I respond to every single one. Um, but yeah, I plan on being here and posting a lot more and giving you guys updates on things when I'm able to. I really, honestly, really in my dream world would be posting every single week. I don't know how realistic that is given, like I said, the situation that I've been in with the, the apartment, but that's honestly going to be over in five months. I know that that sounds like a long time, but time flies. And then I'm going to be 28 in March. So yeah, I just wanted to say hi um, again, just you know, stay tuned. I'm still gonna be posting things. I'm not exactly sure what yet, but if you're into crafting stuff, give my Instagram page a follow. And I also think it'd be really cool to take you guys along the process of me creating my business. I already have a bunch of things made, which I'm so excited for. And I would love, honestly love, if any of you would be interested, even just interested in buying something that I made would be just, it would make me so happy. That's all for now. I will, I feel like I'm not gonna shut up if I don't end this video. I will see you guys in whatever the next episode is. Also, let me know what you wanna see down below because I don't really know if you guys like vlogs, hair stuff, tech stuff. If you want me to talk more in depth about my business, I can do that um, and where I'm at right now. I could do like a more detailed video on that if any of you guys are interested in that, but I just wanna thank you guys for sticking around, supporting me. It means a lot. Every single one of you is amazing who even like clicks on a video or even just has me on your feed. Like, it's so cool. I love doing YouTube and I just would love to do it for longer. So yeah, um, I will see you guys in the next episode of whatever the heck my channel will be. <laughs> uh, I will see you guys in the next episode. Bye.